Well, we got more snow. <laughs> we got a deer walking across our driveway right now. Oh, there's another one. It's a lot bigger. Huh. <sighs> got a little bit of snow on her. Growing icicles. She's a little cold, huh? Yeah, just needs to be charged. What's up guys, it's Colin here with Up North Outdoors. As you can see, finally got the 7.3 fired up. The batteries were just dead. Once I got the thing plugged in on the jumper cables with my dad's 6.7, it fired up in like two cranks. It was plugged in, I got a wire that works now, so I just gotta get those batteries charged back up and she'll be starting no problem as long as I plug her in. So as you guys can see, I got the wood stove completely hooked up. I even did a little test burn to burn some of the paint off the barrel here. There's still a little bit more that has to be burned slash melted off, but for the most part, most of it uh, came off. So what we're gonna be doing today is I need to get some wood. So when I burned it, all I, I just used some scrap wood, like lumber we had laying around here, not even logs, like boards that we had from setting up the shop, the concrete, and getting our house set up in here and just stuff that was laying around is what I used to burn in this stove. So we need to get some actual wood and there is a ton of logs and stuff uh, in this old horse horse carriage shed down at the farm. So we're gonna take the 7.3 down there and just load up the bed with a ton of logs and start getting a good stockpile of wood here so I can start burning this stove and have wood on hand that I can throw in. But yeah, before I do that, I'm gonna roll some footage of getting this stove hooked up because I'm sure a lot of you guys are interested in it and it's, it's pretty cool. So here's, here's the footage of getting that stove going. I also don't know if the spray foam stuff that's in here is flammable, so hopefully it's not gonna blow up. Yeah, she's raging pretty good. I'm gonna go try to get some more wood. There's not really actually any smoke. I thought we were gonna have smoke leaks everywhere on that thing, but it didn't really seem to be leaking smoke too bad. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So going. The, yeah, the wife had to come out. It's smoky in here. I want. I want, don't go in here. Don't don't go in here. You're gonna get all smoky. No, that's the plastic melting or the paint melting off the barrels. So it's kind of smoky in here right now because of that. Stinky. Yeah. But. It's definitely like already warmer in there though. Like the yeah. Look at that. In, it was a lot warmer. Oh, she's chooching. Yeah. <laughs> Worked really good. Here, I can. If you want to stay outside, I can open the door and show you. For it of it. Yeah, look at that. All right, so 7.3 is still leaking oil, spraying oil. It's good on oil right now. It's okay to drive it. It's not such a huge leak that it's just gonna like lose all the oil when I'm driving. It's just, I've been having to fill it up a lot lately. Um, so I want, what I kind of want to do is see if this wood stove will heat the shop up enough to like above freezing to melt all the snow and stuff off this truck to make it easier to work on. Um, I don't know, there's no insulation, so it might not get warm enough in there until we get insulation to get above freezing to melt everything off this truck, I'm not sure. But the plan is, it's kind of over New Year's weekend here. Uh, my dad and I are gonna try to track down this oil leak. I have not been able to find it, and I've <laughs> looked quite a bit. But if we end up not being able to figure out where this oil leak is coming from, um, well, 
I'm probably gonna end up having to take it in. So the plan is to spend this weekend trying to find that oil leak, track it down, and get it fixed hopefully, and if I can't, after New Year's I'm taking it in. So that's kind of uh, my encouragement to get her done. We've also got something pretty cool and uh, different that's gonna be getting delivered to the farm tomorrow that we're gonna be able to make some videos with as well. So we definitely have a lot of content coming, guys. So we're gonna have a lot of content for 2021, that's for sure. I'd say we probably got about six, seven inches of snow here in the yard. We'll see how the 7.3 handles it. We got her in four. Oh yeah, just flowing through it like nothing. No problemo. <laughs> We're still gotta recover the mud truck too. Should probably do that before we get any more snow because pretty soon it'll be too much snow for the 7.3 to get through. Got a little snow on here. So, here's where we got the wood stacked up in this little lean to over here. We made a pretty good dent in it just from having campfires, but I'll load up quite a bit, see if we can't get the stove fired up. Now, the door to that wood stove is pretty small, so obviously, like, some of these bigger pieces aren't gonna necessarily fit in that stove. So, I would like to get like one of these bigger pieces of wood in here, one of these big suckers into the back of the truck because it'd be nice to have a a big log that I can put outside the shop that can be like my splitting log, you know? To split my wood on. I didn't realize there's some old jerry cans in here. These could actually be fixed up and for a overlanding rig. That's cool, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, these are probably really freaking heavy, but maybe one of those smaller ones I can try to get into the back of my truck, use as a splitting log. So I'll give you guys a little bit of history on this building that I'm kind of pulling this wood out of. So that that house right there is actually an original homesteaded house out here. That's why it's 160 acres, because it's a half mile by half mile by half mile by half mile square. And that's what you, would, you were able to homestead. So back in the day, basically, if you claim the land and would work the land and use the land, basically, you could get it for free. Um, and that house back there, I think this was homesteaded in like 1900, 1900, so 120 years ago, 121 years ago. Uh, that house was actually built from lumber off of this property, and the rock was actually, it's actually a split rock foundation. It's one of the few houses with split rock foundations actually in Minnesota. There's not very many left anymore. Um, and they actually split rock that they picked from the field and used that as foundation, like big boulders. Uh, and this this building right here is actually a carriage house. Uh, so when people would come over and visit or whatever, um, they would essentially back their <laughs> carriages back into this carriage garage, this carriage house. So, you know, to prevent your car the carriage from getting rained on and snowed on and whatever. So basically like, Another thing just ran up there. What the? But yeah, basically a uh, old style garage, but with the horse horse buggies and carriages. So kind of cool, and it's pretty sweet because this all this wood and everything, everything on here was built from uh, lumber off the property as well. I would love to, especially like this spring and summer, if you guys are interested on in doing some videos on this property and exploring it. Because there's some really cool old buildings out here that I've found and there's some cool things in some of these old buildings and stuff as well and even the house and even just the property itself there's kind of some cool things so if you guys would want some like exploring videos and would be interested in seeing any of that kind of stuff let me know in the comments below because that's something that I could definitely add on the list of things we can do on the channel. But it is up north outdoors after all not up north outdoors or not not up north trucks it's up north outdoors. Alright I ended up grabbing one of the smaller smaller sized ones that I was able to carry myself without hurt myself but it'll do for now eventually I'd like to get a buddy down here someone to help me get one of those big boys bring down it would be nice to have but for now that'll do otherwise I could get the tractor too maybe and roll one into the bucket or something or drag it out with the chain <clears throat> but we got a nice little start here for wood uh, the Sun is well basically set so I'm going to rip home get rid of some of the garbage here and then I'm gonna gonna rip home 
stack some of this wood up and see if I can't get the stove fired up and get the truck pulled into the shed and see if we can get some of the snow and stuff melted off of it, make it a little bit easier to start working on the truck. Now I would like to actually get myself a chainsaw and uh, some other tools and start start taking out some of the deadfall and dead trees and stuff that are behind Marais and I's house because this there's 80 acres right there that we can utilize basically that I can pull deadfall and stuff out of. I'm not going to cut down any of the live trees but there is pretty thick and there's plenty of deadfall and dead trees out there and it wouldn't hurt taking that stuff out anyway and it'll open it up a bit out there and make hunting and stuff better and then we can get ourselves some free fuel. So I'm gonna, that's something that I would like to start doing too, especially since I'm gonna be running this wood stove a lot. Um, and I'd like to start collecting wood and honestly, winter time here is one of the best times to actually go out in the woods and collect firewood. Uh, you think it would suck because of the snow, but it actually makes it a lot nicer, especially in my area here. It's, it's like a jungle in the woods. Like you can't just walk through the woods in the summertime here. Like you would need a freaking machete to get through the woods. And then the bugs are so nasty and the deer ticks, they carry so many diseases and are so bad too that it sucks going in the middle of the woods in the summer. But the winter time, you can, it kills off a lot of that brush and you can really get around a lot better in the woods, drag things out better. You're not getting eaten alive by bugs or having to worry about getting tick-borne illnesses. So I would like to try to collect quite a bit of wood this winter and maybe even stockpile some up for next winter too. It's getting pretty dark. Uh, eventually, probably this spring, or maybe this winter even, I want to build a, a, wood, a wood rack. But for now, I think I'm just going to stack up the wood outside the door here. Just to make it so it's easier to, easy to bring it in and out. Uh, that's what we'll do for now. Alright, wood's been unloaded. It's not much, but it's a nice little stack uh, to get started with. Probably gonna pull the truck into the shed now for the first time. <laughs> I know, exciting. Uh, pull it in there and then I'm either gonna fire up the wood stove tonight or I'm gonna fire it up first thing in the morning and see if I can't kind of get the snow melted off it so I can try to find this oil leak. I did kind of forget that I added in basically an entire video's worth of building that wood stove on here, so I'm sure this video is getting kind of long. Uh, yeah, God bless guys. I hope you guys all have a really good new year. Uh, I know 2020 has sucked in many many ways and probably different ways for different people uh, but ho hopefully we pray that 2021 will be be a, a better year I don't have a Bible verse on me right now um, but so maybe I'll just say a little prayer Lord God please just help everyone have a better year in 2021 help 2021 be be my year help it be your year uh, my subscribers year uh, help, just help everyone out there that's in need right now in these tough times, Lord. And thank you for everything that you've provided for me and allowing me to continue to be able to do this, do what I love. Uh, please just give me guidance and give my subscribers guidance and show us what you want us to do. Because uh, I want to follow you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. If you guys have any questions about Jesus or God or want to learn about him, Send me a message on Instagram, Up North Outdoors with a Z. I am by far not perfect and don't know everything, but I can definitely help answer some simple questions and then point you in the right direction. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one. Up gas and now I'm broke. Well, I jack it up, put on, lift it off, road tires and be logs on. Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does the mud, it 
Well, it's the sand, it defines me who I am. It's more than practical, it's a statement. If you ever think I'll say it, good luck. American made, and it's my truck. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's